Hello there. Hello, Mersey Beat lovers. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, how are you doing? And welcome to another vlog. Um, we're on the plot. We've it's not pretty just cold. Arrived. It's snowing still. Well, it's not snowing still. The snow's still here. It's not fully thawed. It's not fully thawed. And uh, it's very cold, isn't it? But the sun is beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. And um, beautiful clouds. In the Which sky. helps, doesn't Gorgeous. it, when the sun's out? Blue sky. It really helps. Um, so what have we been doing since our last vlog, Kath? Okay, well, we got a truck and delivery of some uh, tea plants. Uh, Camellia sedentus. Uh, yeah. But they, I mean, they're grown in um, a Scottish plantation up near Edinburgh. There's only two in the country, one in Cornwall. Yeah. One in the north, um, and uh, uh, the original China tea plants, yes. not, again, uh, as opposed to the uh, Assam, which is grown in India, and, you know, various. So we're going to grow tea, tea on the plot. We're going to create a mini plantation where we've got six plants. We've got six plants in all. And they're, they're really nice, they're really lovely. Um, and we, you know, we're, we're going to see how we do, yeah. if we can harvest some of our own leaves. Yeah. Um, you know, and store, you know, yeah. store harvest them. If they, if they take and they mature, then there's no reason why not. Yeah. And this is part of our apothecary garden. Mm. We told you about the apothecary garden, didn't we? And um, because tea was a, a herbal substance. Mm. and um, Medicinal, yeah. It was medicinal. So it, it, it's in keeping with that. So that's our... And quite, for, quite prized as well, quite valuable. Very valuable mm. commodity. And remember, it was the only thing that sparked off the, uh, what was it? The American the Civil, Civil War. War. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the only herb that's caused a revolution in history, isn't yeah. it? The American Civil War. The American it? Civil War. Yeah. And um, the Boston Tea Party. Do you yeah. remember stuff? Not that you're yeah, old but enough to remember that. Originally, Britain used to get its tea from China, didn't it? You know, this yeah. is where our plants are. Of uh, they grow in the the fuss of the Himalayas, don't they? Where yeah. they can withstand really cold climbs, and then Britain eventually then yeah. changed from China because China wouldn't let them know the secrets of growing. That's true. And they eventually started to get there because of Queen Victoria's empire from India, Assam. So, Assam. So they changed route and yeah. started. Yeah. Started so we're going to gonna from grow India. tea here. Chinese. Chinese tea mm. here in Liverpool. And we've made you a little film so it looks like this. <laughs> oh, right, so we've got live plants here and I'm just wondering what they may be. And if I'm not mistaken, they should be tea plants. Hey, from Corbeth plants, yeah. In Scotland. Growers of the tea plant. There's only two plantations in the UK, one in Cornwall and one in Scotland, and they grow these beautiful tea plants. Camellius sinensis, uh, China tea plants originated in China, these type, um, because they can withstand really cold conditions. They grow at the foot of the Himalayas. Um, you can also get uh, tea plants, Indian grown tea plants, which need a slightly warmer temperature as well. Um, but these, we've got six plants here, three in each one. These are about a year old and they reach at the minute about 18 inches high. Um, so these are going to make up part of our apothecary garden and that will be created around our ponds along with lots of other apothecary plants. So tea is traditionally a medicinal plant. So, um, and the history of tea is really fascinating. If you're interested in, in growing these, um, it's a fascinating subject. Be a few years before we harvest any leaves. Uh, two leaves in a bud is what you tend to focus on. And you're harvesting these but aren't they beautiful they're absolutely lovely and uh, a nice little original plant label from uh, Carbeth plants shows you how to make a good cup of tea and how to make your own there you go 
So isn't that beautiful? Camellia sinensis. So we're now going to unwrap these uh, lovely tea plants. Uh, keep the labels safely to one side. Um, tea plants actually need acidic soil, so they have come actually in ericaceous compost. And um, what we will do is soak them in lukewarm water. Just quite warm, not, not too cold overnight. Um, then we'll repot them because we've got six plants here, obviously. So repot them into their own personal pots filled with ericaceous compost. Um, we will keep them indoors then, uh, probably till the, the temperatures get a little bit a little bit warmer, um, where they can then be transported outside. So that's still quite cool, quite warm. That's probably that enough to soak up through the roots. I've put them in really nice soil actually. So let them soak overnight and uh, they'll be ready for potting on tomorrow. But to be kept indoors, as just said, till the temperatures warm up a little bit outside. Six lovely plants we'll have, like a mini plantation. I think it's going to be great <laughs> if that takes hold, that little plantation. Yeah. It'd be great, a mini it? plantation. I think everyone should do. Yeah, that's a challenge for anyone else. Yeah. Why don't you try growing Camellias sinensis? Absolutely. And see how they go. And uh, it's an open, it's an open challenge. Yeah. Uh, to to any uh, avid gardeners out there, yeah. any or all the other YouTube uh, gardeners, try growing tea. Absolutely. And see how it. And turns. we'll be updating you throughout the year on, on how that's going to be going. It's an exciting time of the year when we start, uh, you know, sowing seedlings and we start getting things on the way. Mm. It's very exciting on the plot. It really is. Yeah. So what other news have we got, Catherine, my darling? Oh, we got an email last night to say that the shed had been broken into. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> the shed. Nice job, though. Yeah. Whoever it is who's out there, very neat. No damage. Yeah. And just looking for things. Probably Looking of value. For things. Well, just to let you know, if you're listening and you're watching, there's nothing of value in there. Yeah. So, you know. Well, that's a top go tip. Go somewhere else. It's a top tip for the an end of January. Mr. Middleton would be yeah. proud of this because a top tip for the end of January is don't leave, leave valuable value in your shed. In the shed, which we, the we never do. I no. think, it, I mean, a couple of other plus holders got boxes with locks on prized yeah. they're just looking opportunists looking for things but, See, this but is actually there's no damage caused other than the screws are out so yeah. we can put them on we'll show you that in a minute and uh, but nothing's been taken the thing yeah. is um but i'm sure it would have if there had been anything of value this, in there. this has happened a few times mm. over, over the, the years the many years that mm. we've had the allotment but in the great scheme of things it's not a lot it's not it's not the worst thing that's ever it's happened to us is it Kath? oh god no so we won't we won't yeah. And in the current climate. Around. Yeah, we won't carry it around with us. I'm, I'm praising the work. Uh, I think the work was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty and our, neat and tidy. And they didn't take our, our security lights, which was good, wasn't it? Yeah, well, they might come back to Because we that. just now got that for Christmas. <laughs> no, we didn't want them to take that. Yeah. And um, they didn't take our new thermometer, did they? No, they so. didn't take that. Why would they want to take that? They, some, some kind of, you know, it was a, what a sad existence, though. You know, where you resort, you have to resort to breaking into mm. allotment sheds that have got nothing in them. Yeah. You know, what kind and of... And it must have been, it was really cold last night as well. Yeah. Well, um, no, it's probably uh, Saturday night it's happened. Yeah. Yeah, because she emailed us, didn't she, yesterday? That's right. Mm. Yeah, so, well, you know, I mean, people do this, don't they? And, and mm. people have to resort to doing this for what to feed a, a drug addict or... Because... I don't know for whatever reason. You don't know why it is. They have yeah. to do. They have to do this kind of anyway, stuff. Anyway, they didn't get nothing. No damage was caused, so no. it's no big deal. It's no big deal, yeah. and we'll we'll get over that, won't we? I think so. Yeah. <laughs>
I think so, Phil. So don't worry about us and don't leave comments. And oh, oh you can do, yeah. Go on, why don't you worry about us? Yeah, <laughs> you can worry about us if you like. If it makes you happy, no. will that make you happy? Go but on, I, I think that's a really nice challenge, that for twenty twenty one to try and grow some tea. Yeah, try and mm. grow some tea. Try and, do and it let at us home. know how you get on. You know, with lockdown and stuff. I mean, we can. You can do it in the garden as well. If you've got yeah. a border in the garden, you can or try on a there. patio, or you on, can have yeah. a or tea plant. on your allotment. Just or imagine wherever. that. You know, you, in the middle of summer, you've got, you've got these little buds coming out, and you think, you know what? Yeah. I think I'll make a pot of tea. Yeah. And you just go and pick your own tea leaves. Yeah. Well, we'll put all the details, won't we? Where the nursery, where you can get the plants from, and yeah. so a bit of uh, background information on them and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So for the rest of the day, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to take Mr. Middleton's advice. Did you see? Did you see our uh, little um, shorts, by the way? Who is that guy? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he's a very famous gardener. Go? No, he's a very yeah. famous uh, gardener. But we, he gave us some tips for January, so we're going to we're going to uh, take him up on them tips now for the rest of the day. Mm. Um, we're going to we're going to mostly. I, I really enjoyed the one where he said water your, your lettuce. lettuce. You've so, watered them. I know I have. What's of them? I've, wa- I've just Already. watered my lettuce. Yeah, um, green so you can expect more of them tips, by the way. They're, they're actually based upon the real Mr. Middleton. And we've cleaned our tools in more, the wall. mostly, yeah. haven't we? Spick and span. Yeah. Spick and span. So we'll be having more of them. And you may, may see the format's a bit different because YouTube has introduced a different format now for like little short videos. Oh, that, 60 seconds. That are minutes, perfect for yeah. viewing on your mobile devices. Yeah. So if you've got a moment, if you're commuting or you, you've just got, you can flip through Or you haven't got a lot of time. One minute quickly, videos. Yeah. So we'll be putting a few of them up and mm. just keeping you uh, uh, abreast of things as we go along. Um, so thanks for uh, watching uh, that. Um, what we'll do now, I think, is um, we'll, we'll do a bit of pottering around and, and we'll show you a bit of video there. Because we've got some tea. Yeah. And we've got chorley cakes, some apples cakes. Yeah. So that'll Chorley's. keep us going. So, see you soon. Bye bye. So, uh, it's snowing. It's been snowing. It's snowy on the plot here. Now, this is how we found the shed when we arrived. Door wide open. Uh, yeah, the water has ingressed. Uh, you can see here the uh, rocks have been forced. If we look here, nice neat job. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to repair that now. Uh, take them screws out and put new screws in, etc. etc. But all in all, not too much damage. Uh, security lights still there, believe it or not. They've just had a little uh, rummage so the, the shed's a bit untidy they've been having a look having a route for what's in there I hope, uh, hope there's one a spider that bit them for doing that but to be honest because uh, it's, a, it's a waste of time yeah. I mean who would keep valuables in sheds well, some people do I suppose but not here it's just a utility shed and none of the tools have gone which is a big surprise. We did have a break in a few years ago where some tools did did go, uh, but not on this occasion. So uh, it's just a little repair job, not as bad as we thought it was going to be when we got the phone call the other day. Um, yeah, the plot's looking. <laughs> I was going to say it's looking decent, but it's looking hammered down with snow and ice and frost. <laughs> Plants just surviving, you know. Uh, as it does this time of year, it's, it's as it does, muddy and cold and icy and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, spring surprisingly will be with us in what about six weeks time and uh, we'll we'll be uh, mad in a mad rush to start sowing stuff and and you know 
just um, when it all kicks off, springtime. Um, so for now, what we have noticed is a marked change in in the bird life, in, in the bird songs, you know. Birds are starting to sing and sort of getting all territorial and stuff. Um, so that's a nice change in the weather. Uh, there's Catherine, she's just giving you a wave, wave back. Be polite. You're still coppicing the ha hazel. Marvellous. I heard you mentioning about the activity of the birds, Bertha. I did, Kath. That's your, that's your uh, pet you subject, the isn't it? Have you mentioned about big, big garden bird watch? No, I haven't. Do you want to give it a mention? Why don't you give it a mention? OK. It's Big Garden Bird Watch Weekend, uh, which is done annually by the RSPB. Um, it's the 29th to the 31st, this coming weekend. Yes. You can download all your activity sheets online. And um, you can log the birds you see in your garden. Yes. Or log the birds you see on your plot. And it helps in the statistic analysis for the RSPB year on year, because it's an annual thing. Maybe see what bir birds are uh, more in quantity or less, and yeah. new birds coming in. Because we get black caps in the winter. Of course. Um, but are very rare sometimes to see them. Goldfinches, yeah. you know, smallest bird. Uh, so that's something good girl to do, crests, isn't it? Uh, Sorry, girl, girl crests, smallest bird. Um, and, you know, nuss hatches and such varieties, really, that could be doing with uh, highlights. Linda Lusardi, she was a good bird, wasn't she? I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I don't think you can say that, though. I can't say that. Okay then. No, you can't say that. <laughs> That's like saying F U C K on YouTube. Oh yeah. People shouldn't say that either, but if you do. I oh, know if you do. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Right. Can't use that. Onwards and upwards. Talking about the apothecary garden, um, these are some, I, I sowed these at home and these are some herbs that are going to go into our garden at the front. And we've got here two types of chamomile, um, German and other, and uh, catnip, catmint, herb hessop. Um, wormwood. So I've just sown these, brought them down to the plot, and uh, you can see that um, yeah. Um, also um, is our onions I've put in the greenhouse here at the plot. Uh, just starting to um, germinate. You can see those things coming out of here. Just start to germinate. Um, eight varieties of onions from seed. Um, uh, we don't normally do very well with onions from seed, but we'll see how, it, how we get on with these. I'm going to plant some more in warmer conditions. Here in the greenhouse, um, it's been getting to a high of 21.8 degrees centigrade and a low of minus 2.5 uh, it's uh, obviously six now um, so it's not perfect conditions for seeds to germinate you know uh, onions from seed here haven't done too good uh, we here we've got some replacement um, broad beans to replace the ones that have died outside. Um, over here, all year round, cauliflower. Um, some marigolds. 
they always go down well on the plot and some wallflowers have yet to germinate more onions from seed you can't have enough onions and uh, yeah Italian giant parsley over there need plant to plant it plant it out soon uh, some endives some rocket and winter lettuce uh, yeah so it's all happening yes things are coming along nicely okay thanks for joining us on the plot today um i hope you enjoyed our video if you did then please subscribe um please ring the bell icon so you get notifications of every time that we put videos up which is perfect isn't it? Yeah. um so you can do that and um leave a comment because yeah. we love reading your comments and there'll also be postings on instagram remember our... linda lusardi in the 19 70s oh the page three now and 80s yeah remember her D not that i have to but yeah no yeah i think you'd remember her. Yeah. yeah we've got our own linda <laughs> she comments linda. <laughs> oh linda yeah oh yeah We're no, not linda lusardi but by the way but we've got thanks, we've got a thanks, linda <laughs> we've got a linda who co makes comments on our videos which we very much appreciate so thanks linda uh yeah. keep um um Some nice commenting great comments. yeah great comments and uh keep keep um yeah, keep keep on <laughs> going. Keep doing what you do. And growing. Keep on growing, and growing and growing. Okay. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye.